The Trindade Islands UFO refers to an unidentified flying object which was seen and photographed over the Trindade Island on January 16, 1958. The photographs were rumored as being a hoax. In August 2010, a major TV show in Brazil aired information stating that the original photographer had made hoax photographs in the past. At 12 p.m. on January 16, 1958, Brazilian ship Almirante Saldanha, taking part in projects of the International Geophysical Year, was preparing to sail away from Ilha de Trindade, off the coast of the state of Espírito Santo. Among the crew of the ship, there was a member of the Brazilian Air Force, Captain José Teobaldo Vigas, the submarine photographer Almiro Barona, several scientists and a group of highly trained explorers. Reportedly Captain Vegas was on the deck with several scientists and members of the crew when he suddenly noticed a flying object, which had a ring around it, just like Saturn. Witnesses present reportedly saw the UFO, at the same time. It reportedly came toward the island from the east, flew towards the Pico de Sajado, Wished Peak, made a steep turn and went away very quickly to the northwest. As soon as the object was noticed, Almiro Barona was sought for photography. After getting the camera and going up the quarterdeck, he managed to take several pictures of the object. After being disclosed, the pictures were exhaustively analyzed by the Laboratorio de Reconhecimento Aéreo de Marinha, Brazilian Navy's Aerial Reconnaissance Laboratory, and by the Cervico Aerofotogrammetrico Cruzeiro do Sol. All the pictures were considered genuine, taken from a real occurrence, with the certification of military personnel. The pictures even received confirmation from Juscelino Kubitschek, president of Brazil at that time. To this day because of the certification of the witnesses and the official recognition, the object in Almiro Barona's pictures remains unexplained. In 2010, a document containing a testimonial by Barona was unveiled. On January 16, 1958, the Navy training ship Almirante Saldanha was moored at a bay in Trindade Island, some 800 miles off the coast of Espírito Santo. It was around 11 a.m., the sky was clear and the crew was getting ready to return to Rio de Janeiro when suddenly a group of people at the stern, among them the retired Forca Area Brasileira Captain Aviator José Vigas, alerted everyone. Instantly, all who were in the deck, some 50 people, started to see a strange, silver, saucer-shaped object moving above the sea towards the island. The object didn't make any sound, was shiny and sometimes it moved quickly, then slowly, up and slightly down and when it accelerated, it would leave a white phosphorescent trail that would disappear shortly. In its trajectory, the object disappeared behind the Desajado peak and all expected it to reappear on the other side of the island. It reappeared from the same direction, stopped for some seconds and then disappeared again with great speed at the horizon. At first, when the object returned, I was able to take six pictures, two of which were lost due to the confusion at the deck, and the other four showed the object on the horizon, in a reasonable sequence, approaching the island from the mountain side, and finally disappearing, going away. I took the film from my camera 20 minutes later following the commander's request, who wanted to know if the pictures had good quality. Almost the entire crew of the ship saw the film and they were unanimous in their reports to the secret service of the Brazilian Navy. These were the crew of the ship. Chief Amila Vieira Filho, banker, diver and athlete, vice chief, retired Forca Area Brasileira Captain Aviator Jose Vigas, divers, Aloisio and Moro, photographer, Almiro Barona. The group above was part of a group of spiffishing from Ikarai. Among the five members, only Moro and Aloisio didn't see the object because they were at the ship's kitchen and when they ran to see it, it was already gone. According to the rumors I heard at the deck, the electronic equipment of the ship stopped working during the apparition of the object. What I can confirm is that after the ship left the island, the equipment malfunctioned three more times and the officials didn't have any plausible explanation for what was happening. Every time the ship stopped, the lights weakened slowly until the point they completely went out. When this happened, the officials would walk to the deck with their binoculars, however, the sky was clouded and they couldn't see anything. I need to say that if the reporter of the newspaper Carrillo D.A. Manha hadn't been smart enough to take copies of the pictures offered to then-President Jocelino Kubitschek, 
Maybe no one would ever be aware of this pictures since the Navy had marked me, asking how much did I want not to publicize the pictures. I would like to make it clear that every official with whom I had contact during all the period of the interrogation were quite lovely with me. I felt completely comfortable and they didn't impose any objection to the possible unveiling of the case. They only mentioned that the sensationalist nature of the case could cause panic among the population and that was the reason the Brazilian Air Force wanted to avoid the publicizing of such cases.